Hello there and welcome to the series of videos that's going through the content of A-level maths. Here we're looking at perpendicular lines within exercise 6b, so we're linking these perpendicular lines to equations of circles. So the line AB is the diameter across a circle C, and the coordinates are this here. Find the line L which is, passes through C and is perpendicular to AB. Find the, question, find the equation of L. So what we need to do is break up this question here and we need to first find the gradient of A to B. Then um, flip the gradient round so it's the perpendicular gradient. We did a, a, did a video on that a couple of um, videos ago. And we also need to find the centre coordinate so that we've got a coordinate that the line can go through and then link the equation of the line and the gradient of that line to the coordinate that it goes through. So I really do suggest that you draw a sketch for these types of questions here, just so you can visualise what's going on. The things to do with perpendicular um, lines, um, intersection of coordinates, you can all visualise this. So first of all, plot your two coordinates that are on either side of the diameter, and then join a line connecting them. Now remember the perpendicular is the line that will meet this at a right angle. So we effectively want to find the equation of this uh, red line here, that's L. So the first thing we need to do here is work out the gradient of AB. Now we can obviously tell here it's going to be a negative gradient, so when we get our answer it should be a negative. Remember this formula here from quite a while ago, y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1 or the change in y over change in x, you can think of it as. Um, so we're going to select this coordinate here as coordinate number 2, and this coordinate over here as coordinate number 1, and substituting the values of this coordinate. So on the y coordinates, it's going to be 2, take away 4, and on the bottom, it's going to be 5, take away negative 1. So in this case here, we're going to get minus a third. So that's the first part done. We've got this as minus a third. The next part here is to work out the gradient of the line L. So because this meets at a right angle, remember that the two gradients must multiply together to make negative one. So we need to find this missing uh, gradient here. So what we need to do then is substitute in your value of minus a third times M2 equals minus 1, and you'll get the gradient as 3. So the gradient of this line here is 3. The next thing we need to do is find the midpoint of uh, AB, that's C, the centre of the circle, and then if we know that the gradient of this is 3, and we know a coordinate that it intersects, we can work out the equation of the line. So working out the midpoint between the two coordinates using our formula and we get 2, 3. So we've found the centre of the circle that's at 2, 3. And the next thing we then need to do is find the equation of the line. So we know the gradient, we know a coordinate that it intersects, so we can just substitute these values into y equals mx plus c. m is the value 3, 2 is the value for the x coordinate, One is the so 3 is the value for the y coordinate, Work out your C value, that's minus 3, so it's going to intersect at minus 3 down here. And we get our equation. Y equals 3 from the gradient X minus 3 from the C that we got from substituting in the coordinate. Okay, so that's a rough idea of how we're going to be approaching these questions here. Perpendicular gradients, remember, must multiply together to make minus 1. Okay, a different question now. The line PQ is the chord of the circle, uh, centre of minus 3, 5, where P and Q are 5, 4 and 1, 12 respectively. The line L is a perpendicular to PQ and bisects it. Show that it passes through the centre of the circle. Okay, so what we need to do first is, number one, draw a diagram with all this information on it. Then we're going to need to find the midpoint of Q, find the gradient from P to Q, do the um, perpendicular gradient from P to Q, and then make sure that minus 3, 5, the centre of the coordinate, fits into the equation of the line. 
So draw a sketch, always draw a sketch, and plot these coordinates on that we're given. So remember a chord is just any line that connects one point on the circumference to another point on the circumference. And what we want to do is get the perpendicular bisector of this line here and see if it crosses through the centre. Now the perpendicular bisector is going to cross through at the centre point, so the first thing we need to do is find the midpoint from P to Q. So substitute that into your formula and you get 3, 8, so midpoint first. Now we need to find the gradient from P to Q, so it's a downward sloping graph, so that's obviously going to be a negative gradient. And substituting the values into your coordinate, into your equation here of uh, the gradient, and we get minus 2 as the gradient for the green line here. Therefore, the line L here is going to have gradient of a half, because these two will multiply together to make minus 1. Okay, so now all we need to do here is we've got the gradient of the line L, we've got a coordinate that goes through the, co the line L, and we just need to find the equation of this line. After that, we'll check if minus 3, 5 is on that line as well. So substitute these key values into y equals mx plus c, and you get c is 6.5. So the equation of this line L here is y equals a half x plus 6.5. The only thing that's left for us to do is now answer the question, show that it passes through the centre of the circle. So we just now need to plug in the y values of minus, so the x and the y values of minus 3, 5 into our equation and show that it intersects. So substitute in your x and your y coordinates, and you should get left-hand side equaling right-hand side here. Minus 1.5 plus 6.5 will give you 5, which was the y coordinate on the um, centre of the circle there. Great, so we're uh, combining a lot of the key ideas about uh, equations of straight lines, midpoints between two um, coordinates, and equations and, and properties of circles into one big question here. Hopefully you're all following. Right, so the last question that we're going to look at here is they're already given us the equations of these, uh, of these um, lines here, and um, the lines A, B and C, D are chords to the circle. Uh, the line y equals 3x minus 11 is a perpendicular bisector of AB. So just a reminder, the perpendicular bisector was this L line that we worked out here for a different question. Uh, the line minus x minus 1 is the perpendicular bisector of CD. So again, that was the line L, but we've just got two equations for it now. Find the coordinate of the center of the circle. So just a reminder then, the perpendicular bisector is always going to go through the centre of this circle. So if we know two equations that go through the centre of the circle, then we can solve these two equations and find the centre of that circle. So just drawing a little sketch, it's not too much of a big deal if we get this uh, sketch not completely right. It's a bit difficult to tell where our sketch is going to be given that we've got no coordinates. But what we do know is that the equation of one of the perpendicular bisectors is 3x minus 11, and the other equation of the perpendicular bisector is minus x minus 1. Now, both of these x coordinates, both of these equations of the lines, are going to intersect the centre of this circle. So if we solve these equations, we work out the centre of the circle. So, setting one equation equal to the other and working out the x value, you get 2.5, and the y value here is going to be minus 3.5. And that there is the center of the circle. Okay, your turn to have a go at some questions now. Um, pause the video and try your best. Right, well done for having a go at these questions. Let's see if we can do them together. Now the perpendicular bisector of the line joining minus 5, 8 and 7, 2. So let's draw a little sketch to see what our, our graph is going to look like. So at minus 5, 8, we have one coordinate up here 
and at 7, 2, we're going to have one coordinate down here. Find the perpendicular bisector of the line segment joining these two. So these two are going to be forming a circle somehow. So the equation of the line here is then going to be perpendicularly bisected, and it's this equation here that we're looking to find out. So just a reminder, this coordinate here was 7, 2, and this coordinate here was minus 5, 8. So the first thing we need to do is find the midpoint between these two coordinates. We'll call this m. So m is equal to uh, minus 5 plus 7 over 2, and 8 plus 2 over 2. So this coordinate here is going to be um, 2 over 2 is 1, and that would be 10 over 2, which is 5. So the midpoint is 1, 5. The gradient now is going to be a difference in y over difference in x. So we'll call this coordinate 2 and this coordinate 1. So it's going to be 2 minus 8 divided by 7 minus minus 5. So that would be plus 5 on the bottom. So in this question here, we're going to get minus 4 over 12. No, sorry, minus 6 over 12. Um, so this will be minus a half. So therefore, the gradient of this line here, the gradient of the perpendicular, is going to therefore be 2 because it's the negative reciprocal of this thing here, or it's the number that times is together to make minus, minus 1. Now we just need to find the equation of the line. So this line here is going to intersect the coordinate m, and it's going to have a gradient of 2. So it's these two key um, values here. So y equals mx plus c is our general form of a straight line. The gradient is 2. The y coordinate is, so the x coordinate is 1, the y coordinate is 5, and then we have plus c, so c here needs to be the value 3. So therefore, the answer to this question here is y equals 2x plus 3. Right, okay then, let's have a go at question 2 then. The line fg is a diameter of the circle c, where f and g are at coordinates minus 2, 5 and 2, 9. So let's plot those on. Minus 2, 5 will be uh, something here, and 2, 9 will be roughly up here. So um, this is the diameter of a circle, so our circle must look something like this. Um, the line L passes through C, so that's going to be the centre of the circle, and is perpendicular to FG. So that must mean it has this sort of equation here, because f is the coordinate down here, g is the coordinate up here, and it perpendicularly um, bisects it. So what we need to do first is find the midpoint of the circle, which is going to be at minus 2 plus 2 over 2, and 5 plus 9 over 2. So this coordinate here is going to be at 0, and that's going to be 14 divided by 2 is 7, so 0, 7. And now we need to work out the gradient. So the gradient of the line from F to G is, uh, we'll call this coordinate 2, we'll call this coordinate 1. So it's going to be um, 9 take away 5 over... Uh, 2 take away negative 2, so that's going to be 4 over 4, which is 1. So the gradient of this f to g line here is 1, so the gradient of the perpendicular is going to equal minus 1, because it's the negative uh, reciprocal of it, or it's the two numbers that we need to times together to make minus 1. So the gradient of this line down here, this line L, is minus 1. So now if we know that uh, the great, now we need to find the equation of this line here, 
So it has a gradient of minus 1, so it's y equals minus x, and if we know it goes through the coordinate of 0, 7, that's the y-intercept effectively. It's going to have a plus 7 at the end there. So y equals minus x plus 7 is your answer to question 2. Right, so thanks very much for watching this video, but do remember that watching this video is only 10% is only of the learning. 90% of the learning is going to come through you having a go at questions from exercise 6b and persevering through the difficult ones, making sure you ask your teacher if you need any support. Great, thanks for watching.